So let's say you're merging onto a highway and you're towing a boat that weighs 8,300 pounds. You do want to be able to merge onto that highway safely. So that's why I've got the Solo DL set up to do a quick zero to 60 on this empty stretch of road to see just how long it takes to accelerate the highway speed. Here we go, zero to 60, towing 8,300 pounds. Oh my, this is still fast. Did you guys know that electrification is, well, taking over in all parts of our lives, including recreational boating, because this is the Ark. It is an all-electric boat. But we're not here to go boating. We are here, in fact, to find out if the new Ford F-150 Lightning, the all-electric Ford, tows, and what a more appropriate thing to tow than an all-electric boat that combined with the trailer weighs 8,300 pounds. So, let's get behind the wheel of the Ford F-150 Lightning and let's do a first tow video. Ford says that about 70% of their traditional F-150 customers actually use a truck to tow and that's why the F-150 Lightning, the electric truck, can tow anywhere from seven to 10,000 pounds depending on how you configure it. Now Ford says that they wanna have a no compromise electric truck so the Lightning has all of the technology that a standard ICE or internal combustion engine F-150 would have including the ability to use pro trailer backup assist and check this out, the built-in scales that well, let me show you. This XLT has a payload of 858 kilograms or about 1,892 pounds. So let's see if that is also shown in the onboard scales. Sure enough, take a look, 1,892 is the payload of this truck and it's expressed in these onboard scales. And these onboard scales let you do things like, well, know how much tongue weight you have. And usually you want about 10% of the weight of whatever you're towing to be resting on the tongue and this helps you figure out that number. Let's face it, the hardest thing about towing is backing up and that's because it's counterintuitive. If you want the trailer to go left, you steer right and if you want the trailer to go right, you steer left. But not with this little feature, the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. The way that that works is you sticker up your trailer and then you put it in reverse and then you use this knob to actually steer the trailer. So let me uh, get it in reverse and basically, if you want the trailer, in this case, this very one-of-a-kind boat to go right, you steer right with the little knob, and if you want the trailer, or in this case, the boat to go left, you steer left. Makes it much more intuitive and a lot easier, but you do need to have a little bit of technical expertise because there are stickers on the trailer that tell the system that it's functioning. Now, the other thing that the truck does is it has a towing icon, and when you press that, you can actually add a trailer to it. So it tells the truck not only what you're towing, but it keeps track of how much you're towing. In this case, we've got the ARC boat that's already been added by Ford, so the truck knows that it's towing an ARC boat. And the reason that's important is because, let's face it, the biggest challenge to towing with an electric vehicle is range. And Ford says that they have incorporated not only the trailer, but the topography, uh, the weather conditions into their algorithm so that when you're towing, the truck knows exactly how much range you have because in our testing at least, we found out that when you tow, you cut the truck's range in half. So if this truck with the extended battery has a range of 320 miles, realistically, we have found that you're more likely to have a range of between 150 and let's say 170 miles. All right, before we hit the road, let's talk about this. Look at that, VIN number 020. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever driven a truck that's VIN number 020. And this is an XLT. The Lightning comes in four trim levels. It starts at the Pro, which starts at $39,000. Then you get to the XLT, then the Lariat, and then of course the Platinum. Uh, now, in terms of price, the base price of, of this XLT is $52,974. But as equipped, 76,384. But the numbers that really stick out in my mind are right there. Horsepower, 580. Torque, 775 pounds foot of torque. And that is what towing is really about, isn't it? It's about torque. The other thing about the Lightning is that whether you get the uh, Pro, which is the fleet sales one, or the uh, Platinum, which by the way, tops out at over $93,000 if you get it loaded 
all lightnings are all-wheel drive and for me personally uh, there's a sense of security I get when I'm towing with an all-wheel drive vehicle I like having all four wheels power the vehicle and I like having all four wheels brake the vehicle now before we hit the road let's make sure we're in the right mode uh, so we've got normal sport off-road and of course tow haul mode look at that it knows we're in tow haul mode probably because the trailer is connected all right let's hit the road the thing about this boat is not only is it heavy but it's very long so now I got to make sure that we stay on the road and not embarrass myself in front of all the other journalists and the plethora of four people that are here including engineers the thing about electric vehicles is that they're quick and at this point, I'm thinking to myself, just how quick? Well, I actually found out. If we go back a day, I got to do a zero to 60 test on the platinum version of the F-150 Lightning. And then, of course, I'm gonna do the same thing using this version with the boat. How quick is the uh, Ford Lightning from zero to 60? I think there's only one way to find out, and that is to uh, do a zero to 60 run on this empty road and see just how quick it is. So Ford says about four seconds. So let's find out. I'm just gonna floor it. Three, two, one, there it goes. Got a little wheel spin. And oh, look at that. 4.72. That is like sports car quick. Flooring it again. Oh, <laughs> your brain gets pushed in the back of your neck, actually in the back of your skull, and that was 4.62. It's actually quicker going uphill. I think it got a little bit of more of a launch. So uh, pretty, pretty impressive for a 7,000-pound pickup truck. Let's do one more. All right, here we go. Slow deal. Let's sit up. I'm ready to go. Four. <laughs> I love that. Whoa, tunnel vision. And there's 60. Oh, yeah, look at that. 4.38. Holy cannoli. It just keeps getting quicker and quicker. Wow. Just wow. That's quicker than our TRX. Um, at least at a mile above sea level. So let me ask you a very straightforward question. If you were Ford and you decided to build a lightning truck, what would you build it as? It's a electric truck, so that means you've got a completely clean slate. You can start completely fresh and rethink the pickup truck. And keep in mind that uh, you've now built the most popular truck in America for the last you know, several decades. So would you, for instance, like Rivian, engineer a tunnel behind the rear seats to stow things like skis? Or just like Rivian, would you stick a flashlight in the door? Kind of like the way Rolls-Royce does it with the umbrella. Or would you take a different route, like Tesla? Would you create kind of this dystopian giant silver wedge uh, that uh, reimagines what a truck is and places it in a world that uh, well needs a bulletproof truck? Or would you be like GM and consider it your moonshot where you would reimagine the truck and make it the most off-road worthy, the most uh, Hummer of all trucks? I think the answer is the truck that I'm driving, which is the new Ford F-150 Lightning. And what you would do is you would build an electric F-150. So everything's familiar, right? It would look like an F-150 from the outside. It would look like an F-150 from the inside. It would have all the bells and whistles that a King Ranch, or in this case, a Platinum model has. It would be expensive. This one's 93500 but mostly it would be familiar. We're in Texas right now, let's face it, one in four trucks are sold in Texas. And most guys and gals who buy trucks don't really appreciate a whole heck of a lot of change. I mean, the fact that this doesn't have a Coyote V8 under the hood is already gonna be problematic. Ford struggled to convince people that a 2.7 liter twin turbo or a 3.5 liter twin turbo was as good as the old V8. So you're not gonna wanna rock the boat with the fact that you've got a truck that now is powered by electrons instead of uh, gasoline. And that's what Ford has built. They've built a very familiar 
a very comfortable, dare I say it, the comfort food of electric trucks with this new Lightning. So let's say you're merging onto a highway and you're towing a boat that weighs 8,300 pounds. You do want to be able to merge onto that highway safely. So that's why I've got the Solo DL set up to do a quick zero to 60 on this empty stretch of road to see just how long it takes to accelerate the highway speed. Keep in mind that if we weren't towing a boat, this would be in the four second range, which is uh, pretty crazy fast for a truck. But here we go, zero to 60, towing 8,300 pounds. Oh my, this is still fast. And there is 60. Nine point three nine seconds, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. So under ten seconds to accelerate to sixty, towing a very heavy boat. Um, I'm blown away. Four hundred and forty-seven feet. Yeah, this is what electric vehicles are really great about. This truck weighs just under 7,000 pounds. And when I drove here, not towing, I really felt the weight going around these sharp turns in the Texas Hill Country. And that wasn't a great thing because you end up getting a little bit of push. In other words, you feel that weight wanting to go straight instead of wanting to go around the corner. But when you're towing, the weight is very confidence inspiring. It feels like well, it feels like the tail isn't wagging the dog, which is a good thing in towing terms. That's a big ass boat that's behind me. And I gotta tell you, um, I can tell it's there, but the truck just doesn't care. So I was talking to the engineers uh, and they said that they actually tested the lightning on the Ike Gauntlet, can you believe that? And they said that, you know, that part where we go down the mountain where we count brake applications, uh, the Lightning is actually very good at that because they're using the truck's natural regen ability to, to control the load. Uh, so in a way it's like using a diesel's exhaust brake. It actually helps you when going down the hill and not only does it help you control the load but it's also putting more energy into the battery so they told me and we'll test this so you know going by what they're saying but once we actually get our hands on the Lightning in Colorado, we'll find out if it's true. But they said that, you know, at the top of the hill, if you start out with, let's say, 100 miles of range, by the bottom of the hill, you'll have more range than you started with. Uh, and that's pretty cool. So that's the upside when towing. The downside, of course, is range. And like I was talking about before, Ford has thought of that. In our experience, um, there are two big issues with range. The one is pretty obvious, it cuts your range in half uh, because you're using a lot of power to move a heavy load. So that means you have to spend a lot more time charging. But the other issue, which is a little more subtle, is that when you're doing a cross-country trip in an electric vehicle, you never go to zero because then it takes too long for it to go back up to 100%. And Ford says that the Lightning will do 20% battery to 80% battery in about 41 minutes. Uh, at a maximum charge rate of 150 kilowatts, which is, you know, kind of becoming the standard number. Keep in mind, like a Porsche Taycan will go up to 250. Uh, so, you know, it's not stellar, but it's not bad. But when you're towing, that all changes because you're using so much more power, you tend to, especially out west, you tend to have to take the battery farther to its almost, you know, zero percentage of electricity and that means that you have to charge it up longer so for example we were going to tow a very light trailer a 2500 pound kind of off-road camper from boulder to portland for an off-road expo uh, and we were using a tesla model x and tesla has a very good system that tells you how long it's going to take uh, and basically that trip was about 1400 miles and because of the fact that there are very few and far between Tesla chargers when you get between, let's say, Salt Lake City and Oregon, uh, it would have taken us 27 hours to tow from Boulder all the way to Oregon. 
and if we had done it using a regular internal combustion engine that would have been about 17 hours or about 10 hours less so for many of you guys out there you're probably thinking to yourself wow you know 10 hours more towing uh, and Ford says that they understand that and that they have thought of it so not only do they take into account how much you're towing the weather that which you're towing at because obviously battery range decreases with temperature also the topography so if you're going over the Rocky Mountains where we live you're going to use more power than if you're towing in Illinois uh, and they're trying to basically address the range anxiety when towing issue is it as efficient when towing with an internal combustion engine. Well, electric vehicles are more efficient, so you're, you know, you've got a much higher MPGE, but you're having to stop a lot more often. So the downside to towing with the new Lightning is that you have less range, but you knew that. But the upside is that it's really like having a heavy duty, or in this case, super duty truck in terms of the stability, the amount of horsepower and torque that you have. Of course, you can only tow up to 10,000 pounds, but man, you'll tow that 10,000 pounds easily and quickly. So really right now, you've got choice. You can go the traditional ice truck method, or if you're feeling adventurous, the Ford F-150 Lightning will tow. Now, let's just find a lake <laughs> so we can take this boat and see what electric boating's like. TFL boat? Anybody? See you guys next time. Ciao.